Hello everyone, it's Jordan here, back again with this week's update and all the physical releases coming to the Switch. We are in the first week of February and it's kind of slowing down again. But just remember, once we hit 100,000 subscribers, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED model to one of you. So please subscribe and we can get there as quick as possible to give it away. And before we go any further, there's been some rather significant developments when it comes to our discount code for PlayAsia. Our Switch Watch TV code... It's gone. It's gone. Uh, well, you can use it one time and then it's gone. However, due to unknown reasons, PlayAsia will be giving us a new discount code every so often. Maybe every month or every quarterly. I don't know. But right now we have a new discount code for 5% off any physical item from PlayAsia. It's called Get Physical. Of course it is. Get Physical, all one word, and you can get 5% off anything from PlayAsia. And this code will last a while. How long? I don't know, but I'll be sure to update you if and when that changes. Also, one more thing before we get into this week's episode. Uh, this week, or the last week, it's been a pretty shitty week, if I'm being honest. Firstly, I'm on antibiotics. I've been on antibiotics for like, like four days now. And also, someone in my wife's family, they had a pretty serious accident on Friday. And so everything's just been a little bit busy. Plus, I played Kogan Sword of Rewind, which almost made me want to rip my balls off with how difficult it is. So, uh, it's been a pretty stressful week, uh, yeah. And I'm sorry this episode is a little bit more subdued than normal, uh, but it is what it is, and I hope next week can be much, much better. Maglem Lord is seemingly the only retail release this week, and it's looking like a rather spiffing action RPG published in the West by P-Cube. Been out in Japan for quite a while now, but thankfully now translated to English. It has really sweet artwork, and JRPG fans will probably be wanting to jump on board this release. It's developed by Philistella, who helped make the upcoming Seven Pirates game, and many of the Summon Knight and Hyper Dimension Neptunia stuff, so there's obviously going to be a little bit of a charming jank to it, but I think it will be a popular one, and it's good to see PQ take this one on board. There's also a collector's edition that's available at funstock.co.uk, so check that out if you want something a bit more fancy than retail. And our executive producers, Mental Traveler, Isa, Cartoon Soren, V, Thorn Metal Luna, Robotech, Elisa, and Jonathan Rumor have chosen this as their pick of the week. The Low Prince, Young Souls is going up for pre-order at Pix and Love this week. There is a Standard Edition and a Collector's Edition. The Standard Edition will also be made available in North America via Limited Run Games uh, next week, I think. While the Collector's Edition is exclusive to Pix and Love, Young Souls is a kind of a mix like a side-scrolling beat-em-up with RPG elements. It looks very stylish indeed. It's not actually released digitally yet, so we have no idea if it's actually good or not, but I've got no worries about it personally. You can order this from Pix and Love on the 2nd of February. And our executive producer Brent McLean has chosen this as their pick of the week. Mythic Ocean is from Limited Run this week. This is a pretty great game, a very unique adventure game set underwater where you're mates with some mythical gods and you have the power to try and sway them with dialogue choices. It's a simple game with no combat, no fear of death, just trying to guide the gods how you want them to. We all know how power hungry humans can get, so this is a nice ego trip for the sociopaths out there. There's plenty of branching paths in this narrative for replayability, but some say that one run of about six hours was really enough to satisfy them. And our executive producers, Parsnip Coffee and Boom Box, have chosen this as their pick of the week. Mask of Mist is Red Art's latest game. They're on absolute fire. They've gone from maybe having like one game a month to one a week these days. And Mask of Mist is their next title. I have to say, the cover art for this almost made me laugh because it just looks like a a match three shovelware puzzler on the DS, but actually looking at the trailer, the game is actually pretty sweet. It's a first person action adventure game whereby you solve large world puzzles. See, it's only about four hours long, so not quite as grand or as epic as something like Skyrim, but still, I think it's a good lesson in how not to judge a book by its cover, but really change the cover, change it. You can get this from redartgames.com right now, and don't forget to get 10% off with the code S. Watch 10. All right, the imports, but before we do, last week I asked you to head over to our Record of Lodos War review uh, because I was doing a giveaway of a download code for that game, you know, and I asked you a very simple question. Very simple question. All you had to do was, in the comments of that video, tell me what do firemen or firefighters in the world 
cover themselves in. Now the answer is very simple, but it's pretty obvious a lot of you didn't watch the review like I told you to, because we had people say, oh, they wear uniforms, they wear protective clothing. No, listen to me, this is Jordan from the past. As we all know, firefighters across the world cover themselves in salamander juice to protect them from the flames. Salamander juice, of course. Watch it, I said watch it. Thanks to Certified, I think he was like one of about five people who actually got it correct. Certified, I will, f your name rings a bell and I will find you if you're on Twitter or Discord probably. I think Discord, right? I'll find you and give you a download code for Record of Lotus War on the Switch. Now, now that you know the rules, yes, you know the rules, watch the review. Uh, I also have uh, two more download codes, but this time for Eglia. Yes, Eglia is an upcoming JRPG. It's only releasing digitally in the West that we know of. And you, you may have seen my review from last year, like l very late last year, I reviewed Eglia. It's from the same people who made Legend of Mana. So yeah, it's very exciting. I have two download codes to give away to you guys. And very simple question, very simple question. <clears throat> Which US rapper would be in heaven if he played Eglia? All you gotta do is answer that question in the comments of that video. The link to that video is in the description and in the pinned comments, okay? And next week, I will announce two winners for two European, European download codes of Eglia, okay? Watch the review, go watch it, all of it. All right, the imports. Remember guys, if anything takes your fancy and you'd like to import it for yourself, then consider using the links below in the description and the pinned comment, because if you use those links, it also supports Switch Watch and me ever so much. You guys are fantastic and wonderful, and yeah, I, I, I can't thank you enough. Plus, in return for using our links and supporting us, you can get a very nice 5% off any physical item from Play Asia if you use our new, new Zuecinda Play Asia discount code. I don't know why I spoke Chinese then, but I did. Our new code is Get Physical. Get Physical. That's all one word. I asked them to choose Let's Get Physical, but uh, apparently that was too long. Don't believe them. Get physical for 5% off. And remember, in the future, this will change eventually. Just remember to watch the latest episode of this series to find out what. Anyways, this week, uh, not too much. Nurse Love Obsession is releasing in Asian regions this week with English. This is a double pack of Yuri visual novels that already had a physical release in North America. But now this is another good option for those around the world. Two very good Yuri's, and coincidentally, on VN Paradise, my personal channel, I, I literally just put a video up talking about the best Yuri visual novels on the Nintendo Switch, and lo and behold, the two games in this package are on there. So please go watch that video, it's very enlightening if you like girl-on-girl -girl action, and this package is one of the essential releases for VN or Yuri fans. Girl-on-girl -girl action set within the medical world, how can you possibly go wrong? These are rather highly rated, especially for the niche genre, so definitely one to look into. Please remember to watch my video links are below and at the end of this video. A Nurse Love Obsession is Jcross7776, Government Fat Cat and God of Resins pick of the week. Farm Together is releasing in Japan this week with English. This definitely has a European physical, uh, I'm not entirely sure about North America, but I guess it's an option if not. And some new announcements of games I've not mentioned previously, some upcoming imports that you can pre-order. These are not releasing this week, just new announcements. So some things to keep your eyes on in the future or pre-order while you can. Links are below for these as well. <clears throat> Dungeon Encounters is one of the couple of Back to Basics games Square Enix did recently. This is getting an English physical release in Asia. This is a game that won't appeal to everyone and despite the massive publisher behind it, it wasn't designed to be appealing to everyone. Strip down dungeon crawling, getting rid of all the fluff, there's no anime babes in sight, no chunky boobs, and you don't even tickle the girls to level them up. It almost feels like a passion project from the staff at Square Enix, who just wanted to do something a bit hardcore, rather than focusing on the next big blockbuster JRPG with all the anime tropes that come along with it, and I respect it for that. It's like an old school dungeon crawler if you just distilled it to its very absolute purest form, which means it's hardly accessible, but a very rewarding experience if you can overcome it. There's been no word of a Western physical, and I would guess it's exclusive to Asian regions, so definitely one to add to the collection. March 31st for this one. Golf Club Wasteland. 
How better to sell this title than with the phrase, golf, but in the post-apocalypse? It has a weird style to go with it, not just in the setting, but also the fact that it's a side-scrolling platformer with golf. Yes, who said games weren't creative enough these days? Apparently, according to reviews that I briefly scanned over, this is more of an artsy game than it is about the arcade puzzle type gameplay, but it's well enough regarded a 7 out of 10 kind of way. This is getting a physical release in Asia with English. I've heard nothing about a physical release in the West. March 11th. Tasumachi Behind the Twilight is getting a physical release in Japan with English. This is a 3D collector thumb platformer about a young girl who's searching for parts in order to repair her airship. She does this platforming in ghostly but beautiful locations in a game that is simpler than you may be led to believe. It really does look gorgeous and serene and plays pretty cutely too. Nothing majorly epic, I think the trailer is a bit too snazzy for its own good, but I'm well up for this and I'm sure the box art will be gorgeous too. Now this is published by Playism who do have a very good track record of working with low print publishers in the West to bring out their games physically. Uh, some of the time, not all the time. Nosia, come on. Uh, so yeah, it may happen in the West, it may not happen, but for the time being, this is available in Japan, physically, with English. April 28th for this one. The Fox Awaits Me, Hana, is the sequel to The Fox Awaits Me, a bishoujo visual novel that was on the Switch a few years back. It was also an import exclusive, and I think there's a good chance this one will be too. I've spoken with my contact at Kosen, and although the supported languages have not been announced yet, they are going to have English on board, at least that is the plan. I'm guessing there will also be a collector's edition available at some point in the future too. Very fans, if you need a submissive fox girl in your life, then this is the perf simulate, I mean visual novel for you. Alright, now as you can probably guess from the runtime, there is no community spotlight this week. As I've said, various things have uh, not gone my way or our, my family's way this week. I know at least my father-in-law getting hit by a car. Yeah, he should be okay, but it's meant that I've not really had much time to make this week's episode. It's been a rather stressful few days to say the least, especially for my wife. Uh, but please check out some of our other content that I put out last week. Thankfully, I managed to get Kosen and Luminous Adventure reviews done before all that happened. I think the reviews came out rather well. Plus, there's a Yuri visual novelist I made a while back and finally published on VM Paradise uh, yesterday, I think. So yeah, uh, I hope next week is a much happier and less stressful week. Uh, thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, Jcross7776, Elissa Punkydusta, Michael Del Polito, Cartoon Soren, Robotech Z, Raven Knight, Thorn Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Government Fat Cat, Issa, Bay, Mental Traveler, and Grantzert. Thank you ever so much for watching, plus you, yeah, you watching right now. If you watched all the way through, thank you. You help support this series ever so much, and leave me... Uh, I don't know. Any, I don't care. Leave me uh, just anything. Just say hello. Just say hello. And that's, that's enough for me, okay? Uh, I'll see you on some of our other content. Have a good one, guys. Take care. <laughs>